You may not feel like you have much of a connection to Bloody Sunday. A group of college students traveling the country would say that's not true. They were just here in Colorado telling our Ann Trujillo the city of Selma, Alabama needs our attention more than ever. 50 years ago, people were sitting at home watching this on their televisions. The Selma March over the Edmund Pettus Bridge that ended with a beating for all to see. Pictures that changed 21-year-old Jack Town's life. Even though it is part of history, it represents a, 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 dark, a dark time in history. Jack is part of a group called Students Unite traveling the country this week in Denver, Parker and Vail, showing a documentary called I Will Dance, giving them a platform to talk about the plight of people in Selma. Most people look at Selma as the birthing place for the voting rights, as a place that should be the mecca for everybody else and say, wow, these people probably have come together now. They're getting along. Things should be great because look at all the struggles that they went through. And we shine a light to see that that's really not the case. Ronald Smith is a pastor who helps lead the students, focused on nonviolence and using their voices in film to address social issues. They want the world to know Selma hasn't really changed all these years. The poverty rate hovers around 40 percent. Annual median household income about 22,000. Unemployment in the double digits and we still have a uh, all white segregated country club. We have an all white private school. All the public schools are all black uh, in the city. And then there's this bridge. When you leave Selma and when you enter Selma, it's like a constant reminder of those dark times. Named for a senator and soldier, also a member of the Klan, these students pushing a petition to get his name removed to help this community move out of a mindset. A lot of people there, they're still in slavery, not physically, but mentally, mm -hmm. and it, it affects a lot of people. Change they know can happen one step at a time. And Trujillo, 7 News. And Students Unite is working with Change.org to rename the Edmund Pettus Bridge. In less than two weeks, more than 150,000 people have signed that petition. We've put information on Students Unite and their campaign on our 7 News app.